This is my defining moment. I have been preparing for it all of my life. Surrounded by competition, we have all gathered here for the same purpose. To be cast as the leading player in the signature event that is about to unfold. And I embrace the challenge. Next. Luck had nothing to do with it. I put in the hours of practice, the long nights of preparation, and my journey has been fueled by faith in both my ability and my ambition. I am ready to seize my opportunity. I will not remain in the background, nor will I be relegated to a bit part. I will work day and night to prove myself to step out into the brilliance of the spotlight. I am a rising star. This is my defining moment. The NBA is all dressed up and ready to go in what better venue than Hollywood. Welcome to Los Angeles and over the next three days beginning with tonight, T-Mobile Rookie Challenge right on through Sunday night and the All-Star Game. TNT is your home for NBA All-Star 2011. And we are inside the Staples Center. Welcome, everyone, to TNT's coverage of NBA All-Star 2011. Kevin Harlan alongside former NBA Rookie of the Year, five-time All-Star, Chris Webber. Let's give it up for Chris Webber. Thank you. I'm looking at both sidelines. We have got a great array of talent in the building tonight. It is no better day than to be a basketball fan than today because no matter what city you live in, no matter who's your favorite player, you get to see the best of the best. And this is the best of the best of the young players in the league. And as a fan, I'm happy to be here to watch these guys get down. And you've played in this game as a rookie. I played in this game as a rookie, Anthony Hardaway, myself. Um, I was just nervous. You know, uh, if any advice I have for these guys is just have fun. We never get to sit back and take inventory of our accomplishments. Well, today, for 72 hours, Friday through Monday, maybe 10 more hours on Monday, 82 hours, you get to say, man, I thank God, thank my coach's family, I made it, let's have some fun. What a great answer. All right, this begins a lot of activities on TNT. Right now we take you to our host tonight, Craig Sager with a couple of the coaches. Well, I'm here with members of the coaching staff for tonight's T-Mobile Rookie Challenge. Coaching the rookie team, he is a three-time NBA champion and a Hall of Famer, Kevin McHale. And over here, a five-time NBA champion, a three-point shootout specialist, Steve Kerr, with the sophomore team. And Steve, I guess your team has the experience. How do you put that to use here on the court tonight? Well, a lot of these guys last year were played on the, on the uh, rookie team, and they actually won the game. So they know what they're doing. The other thing is we obviously have a decided schematic advantage from the coaching staff standpoint. <laughs> so we're feeling pretty good about that. Decided schematic advantage. I don't know about that, Kevin, because usually these games are won by those who handle the ball, the guards. But I saw you at practice today with the rookies working in the post of the big men. What were you trying to accomplish? We have a big size advantage tonight. The, our, our guards are going to push it up. The rookies are going to punch it inside. We're going to dominate the paint. And I actually was at practice today. I, I don't, Steve, did you make practice today? No, we didn't need practice. Okay, all right. <laughs> so much for that advantage. <laughs> Well, these guys made their names on the court. We'll see how they do on the sidelines tonight. Let's meet the teams. Let's go to the Clippers. Public address announcer, David Courtney. Let's meet our sophomore players. First coaching with Steve Kerr tonight from the Boston Celtics, Lawrence Frank. And now the players not playing tonight due to injury, Tyreek Evans. From the Chicago Bulls, Todd Gibson. From the Golden State Warriors, Stephen Curry. Born in Compton, California. From the Milwaukee Bucks, Brandon Jennings. From the Oklahoma City Thunder, Serge Ibaka. Also from the Oklahoma City Thunder, back in his hometown of Los Angeles, James Harden. Born in Chatsworth, California, from the Philadelphia 76ers, Drew Holiday. 
from the Portland Trailblazers, Wesley Matthews. From the San Antonio Spurs, Dewan Blair. And also born in Compton, California, now with the Toronto Raptors, DeMar DeRozan. These are your sophomores. Now for the rookies, coaching with Kevin McHale tonight. From the San Antonio Spurs, Mike Budenholzer. Let's meet the players. From the Detroit Pistons, Greg Monroe. From your hometown, Los Angeles Clippers, Eric Bledsoe. From the Minnesota Timberwolves, Wesley Johnson. From the New Jersey Nets, Derek Favors. Born in Long Beach, California, from the New York Knicks, Landry Fields. From the Sacramento Kings, DeMarcus Cousins. From the San Antonio Spurs, Gary Neal. From the Washington Wizards, John Wall. And from your Los Angeles Clippers, Blake Griffin. You've now met both teams. We'll be right back with the T-Mobile Rookie Challenge and Youth Jam from Los Angeles, California. Let's check out the T-Mobile starting lineup tonight here in Los Angeles. Taking a look at the rookies, the number one overall pick out of Kentucky is John Wall. Terrific season. Gary Neal played for a couple schools overseas over the last five years. Landry Fields played at Stanford. Surprising everyone as an opening day starter for the Knicks. Everyone's talking about Blake Griffin out of Oklahoma. And DeMarcus Cousins, another one of those Kentucky Wildcats. He starts at center tonight. Now for the second-year players. Davidson's stiff Stephen Curry who's had a terrific first year, going to his second year. Wesley Matthews played Utah last year. Blazers this. DeMar DeRozan, slam dunk extraordinaire. A local kid from Los Angeles. Taj Gibson played at nearby USC. And Dewan Blair, who is now a starting center with the San Antonio Spurs, a former second-round pick out of pit. And you take a look now at the game rules. We're going to play a couple of college 20-minute halves. You see the timeout situation. Players can't foul out. Only nine players per team and a two-minute overtime if needed. And we could see some, Chris Weber, some gigantic individual numbers in this game. We really could. Uh, we could see some gigantic numbers, but we can also see some gigantic fast breaks that, oh, we kids and fans, well, I can call myself a kid, that we love to see. So definitely looking forward to some big plays from both teams. On officials tonight, Mark Lindsay, Curtis Blair, Brian Forte. So the second-year players are in their home white and the rookies are in their traveling solid colored uniforms with a good crowd on hand here at the staples center and we are underway and young wow. steph curvy will curry will take it for the second year players and you know what news update already blake griffin lost a jump ball who would have who would have ever thought <laughs> <That's> right <laughs> He's got, breaking news. Yeah, he's got a smile on his face as him and Wall were coming the other way. We just heard Wall tell Craig Sager, I'm going to be looking for him a lot. Oh, believe me, every guard, well, even big fellas, everybody's going to want to throw an alley-oop. So uh, just got to be patient, hope they make the right pass. How much of Griffin have you seen in person? Uh, you know what? I have not seen him in person. Uh, not at all. But I, I feel very familiar being that uh, 
it seems that to me that one of my first shots in the All-Star game was an air ball. You're so excited. <laughs> That's what just happened to Griffin, the best rookie in the world. That's right. He can shoot an air ball, too. It's all for fun. Think about his busy weekend tonight, tomorrow night with the dunk contest, and then the Sunday All-Star game. You know what? And he has to be careful. I don't know if the coaches on the West Coast are going to work him a little harder and let him play all the games so that he doesn't have that much steam after the All-Star break. There's Dewan Blair. As you take a look at John Wall, Wall's had a very nice rookie campaign for a team that has not had a lot of success in Washington. He's had he's had a very good rookie campaign, and I really like the way he's handled his frustration. Anytime you're a rookie, you come in, you're hurt, you're the point guard, you want to lead your team, and as my, as my colleague Kevin McHale said the other day, he's going to lose. He won more games last year in college than he probably will win in a season that has three times as much games. So just being able to handle those losses, that's frustration. I love how he keeps his head up and keeps working hard. Rosen it in that one, and here comes Gary Neal. He played at LaSalle, he played at Towson. One of those great finds for San Antonio. Neal hit four three-pointers last night in Chicago. As you see Blair, who also played in that game, Spurs and Bulls, you saw right here on TNT. That's right. A lot of kids today are, are dreaming and saying, one day I can be one of these guys. Well, the two guys you just mentioned, and we can start. Let's just start with Blair. This sure. guy shoots 40% from threes. And, you know, many people didn't know who he was, including myself, until he just started knocking them down. And that just goes to show you can reward yourself by being in these games if you work hard enough. It doesn't matter where you draft it. It matters how hard you work. That's DeMarcus Cousins hitting it right there. And he was a second-round pick, and he was a terrific player, co-Big East player of the year at Pitt. I mean, he was a celebrated college player. I mean, He's a great player, and then they said, wait a minute, as he throws the floater up there, he doesn't, he didn't even bring his ligaments to the game with him. He has no <laughs> cartilage in his knees. This guy had a light suitcase, and he plays very hard. But another guy that earned his spot in this NBA. He has, uh, you're right, no ACLs. Here, here is Griffin. But it wasn't like he wasn't born with him. He lost him over many surgeries, yes. both the, which is one of the reasons why Blair dropped down to the second round. A exactly, but you know what? Um, he could have let that frustrate and stop him. Look, he's taking a bigger Griffin to the hole. And, and you guys out there that may be a little undersized or short, just watch how guys like Blair get their shots off by using the shoulder, getting space. As you see Cousins, he didn't call glass, so I won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> and he has had very much of an up and down year, one of the Young shooters in this league. We're going to watch Steph Curry. And here comes Wall again. You know the pressures of being a very high overall pick. And there is a, a turnover right there by John. So you, you can you can really, I mean, uh, empathize with what Wall goes through, all the scrutiny on him. And before him, the over number one overall pick, number 32 right there, Blake Griffin. Oh, you, you're so right. And, and the thing that um, I feel for these guys the most is that they don't have veterans on their team. I was blessed to have... Uh, Chris Mullen on my team. I got to see how guys worked out every day. Well, these guys are the veterans, yet they're the rookies on their team, so they have a lot of pressure on them. It really is hard to try to find your way uh, without any guidance sometimes from the players that have been there, but they're doing a great job handling it as Blake gets hit in the mouth and DeRozan misses a dunk. And there is Blair once again, who has started this game four of four. Remember, he had over 20 points and 20 rebounds last year. Whoa, with some of that great speed as he takes it in for two. Fast was one of the fastest guys I've seen Ooh. with the ball. Great pass right there by Matthews, who I'm sure we'll get to talk about later once he gets going, because that guy is having a great season. He is, and it was a great pickup, I thought, for the Blazers and a tough loss for Utah. And you know what? That's why you and I talked before this game about how great this game is that we get to see certain guys at this time in their life. Well, Matthews is one of those guys. I didn't know what he had. I didn't know that Jerry Sloan was upset that this guy was leaving. Like, who is this guy? Why do you like him so much? Well, he showed us this year the way he's been playing for Portland. Some pretty good genes, does Matthews. And yes, sir. That's the first miss by Blair right there. Griffin can't find Wall. I got to tell you, you know what? If I'm the owner of some of these teams yes. watching my young talent fly over photographers and going up into the stands after yeah. loose balls, I'm a little concerned. Lloyds of London, I'm sure, got some extra calls today yeah. about, yeah. about yeah. these guys. Definitely. And you know, another thing, too, not only injuries, but you don't want your guys to come out here and develop bad habits.